All right. Good morning, everyone. I'm Christy. Um, I teach animation at the high school. This is the second. And that is why I chose that as my project. You just heard what the definition of um, Genius Hour is. When I started at CHS last year and found out I was going to be teaching animation, I was like, okay, great. I don't know anything about animation because I've only taught tech which is um, we didn't have any software. Uh, um, so I was like very challenged. We struggled through that and we got to this year and Al got me new computers, yay. And um, we started building animations. What you see right here are three examples of um, 3D animations in a 2D format. Uh, when, you t when you think about animation, you really get animation and game design. They co coexist really easily. Uh, animation is an animated character. It moves. It, it, it comes to life. Um, so the little critter that's down here is their very first... Thing that they had to make uh, in an application or in a software called Blender. Blender is a free software. I've tried my best to find free resources to use because, of course, budget is key. Um, we didn't add any rigging to him or any armature, uh, but then come up here, we started building uh, Stickman. Well, stick man for Nathan kind of turned into a gingerbread man. These little triangles you see are called armatures, and they're also they're, they're known as bones, and they had to go in and label arm bone, chest bone, hip bone, kind of like the skeleton song, your arm bones connected to your, yeah. Um, so, and uh, this is the hammerhead um, stick man that, when my freshman did, as Carrie was saying, the freshman will, will be crazy. That was my eighth period class, so <laughs> eighth period freshman. Um, this right here, this software, the um, Blender, is what I would like to teach next year as an advanced class. When you think about animation movies, the one just opened. It took them three years to make because you have to put the eyeball in and take a picture and record all your your eye. I mean, it's it's crazy how long it takes. So we were talking about next year's schedule, and I designed a form in uh, Google Forms, and I had to. I just made it real quick. Five questions for the kids to to do and these are the results out of all three of our classes I got 120 students to uh, answer and 55% um, of those have me 11.7% uh, have Miss Henderson 375 have Mr. Larry, and nobody is in a tech class. Um, I put this out on the Facebook page so we could get the students that don't have us to add, but sometimes they're not very good at doing surveys and stuff. So um, I asked them if the classes were offered next year, what would they want to take? So game design has a 51.7%. Um, yes, I want to take that. We have 434 students in the class, in our school. So if we put 51% of those students, that's like 200 kids. But um, that's going to be a good thing. Animation is at 15%, and that's 65 students, which is three sections of animation. That's what I'm teaching now, and all three sections of my animation class are full, if not over full. I even have a student that has brought in his laptop um, to free up a computer for somebody. So he sits in the middle of my room on his laptop doing the same stuff that we do because it's free software that we're using. 
Um, but the good news is, Glenda, Video Premiere Production has a 15% offer that they want to take. So the video editing that Carrie was talking about that we needed to work on, there you go. So. So not having, so here's the look about me, and I'm just going to keep all this information up here for this day, because I think that's just too much information for any Tom, Dick, or Harry to get a hold of with me again. So um, basically, I graduated from 1990 from Cattle Mills High School, uh, went to um, Texas University. Graduated in 1997 with a bachelor's in vocational home economics. Uh, taught in Dallas ISD for 15 years before um, coming here two years ago for commerce. I have my master's through UNT, um, and it is computer education and cognitive systems. And I got that uh, master's all online. I never had to go up to the university except to walk across the stage. The badges, I created um, a Lego badge, because y'all are fixing to see what my kids did with stop motion. I created a claymation badge and a comic book badge. My kids had to make comics as well. Scope and sequence. Okay, so like I said, um, you're teaching animation, have fun, go be creative. So I had to do a lot of research. And um, that very first uh, week, uh, we're going to be making, in the fall, we'll be making flip books. Um, and uh, this year, we did a thrum rope. Can you see it? It's a softball. Um, being caught in a softball glove when it, it flips. A thrum rope is you put one image on one side of the sheet of paper, another image on the other side of the sheet of paper, then you twist it up really fast and you pull it. So that way when it spins, it looks like it's a complete um, set. Okay, there are 12 steps of animation. And... Um, there we go. My kids uh, learn these 12 steps of animation. They learn it so well that they have to create a song to the 12 steps of animation. Um, the, very, the very first color movie Walt Disney produced was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. We watched that movie, and they have to find the scenes where each one of those 12 steps um, of animation are in there. And you would be surprised at how many kids have never seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And they're really riveted to it because they're like, Miss, that's not how movies look today. So, Claymation. Claymation was so much fun. Let's just say. Make sure you get clay and not Play-Doh. Okay. Yes. I'm sure you hate bears. I'm a bear. <laughs> oh my gosh, a bear! Run away! Oh my gosh, a trick. Oh, is that a big hand? Oh my gosh, a big hand. That was Spanish. That was my bilingual learners. They did. Oh, McDonald in Espanol. All right. 
Okay, so then um, at the Black Friday sales, um, I noticed that Walmart had um, big things of Legos, 1,500-piece Lego set for $30. If any of you have ever priced Legos here recently, they are astronomically crazy expensive. And so I fought the good fight, and I went to the Black Friday Walmart sales, and I got... Um, three sets of those Legos for these kids. And um, so they started, they had to create a stop motion. Okay, the one thing that I would, that I'm going to change for this upcoming year is we're going to spend more time on character development and storyboards and um, scripts because I want it to be in dioramas. Um, I want it to look more um, professional than just something thrown together. So. And watch the little guy's face. We have a uh, channel on YouTube, and I have um, tweeted out that link. So all those videos are from uh, Claymation, and um, Legos are on there. Um, and this is um, this critter looks like this other student. This is the to render properly so you can see the more definition of it. It took Jonathan uh, three weeks just to make this and not add any ready, it's not ready to walk or anything like that. We haven't done all those aspects to it yet. But just to make one critter for three weeks and he told me, he's like, I still want to do more stuff to it before I start making it move. So um, when we start talking about intense animation where we're actually doing storyboards and creating characters and scripts and this, that, and the other. This needs to be a more advanced animation class than um, the animation. Now, I can teach this in animation and do it just real quick. The three-week mark, we make one critter and then move on. Lucky for me is Pixar has just released um, its it's software to educators uh, free of charge. And I will be downloading that. And it's called RenderMan. And RenderMan works with Maya. So I will be using Maya, which is free, and RenderMan. And hopefully um, we will be entering the UIL video competition. I don't give us next year because we'll still be learning the software, but maybe in year two we'll have some cartoonish type of stuff to UIL. So, and um, all these are softwares. Uh, Digital Tutors um, is an excellent software that we have uh, a membership for, that um, a subscription for, I should say. Step-by-step uh, -step videos on Maya, on Blender, on uh, Adobe Premiere, um, Photoshop, uh, I've, I'm learning tons all the time. We use Khan Academy, and that's a good one, and we'll be using Erasma.
ongoing project. Um, I don't see it ending anytime soon. So that's me and my passionate for for um, animation. And here's my little blog. Last summer I stayed at Disney's Art of Animation Resort and there's tons of stuff. If I could come up with a great to take the animation class out to Disney to talk to Pixar and see the ins and outs of that. So.